Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for Wednesday, June 9th, 2021. Well, if you guys remember on Monday, I kind of suggested that there might be the possibility that the market just chops um, light and choppy price action as we wait for that key inflation data Thursday morning. So far, it looks like that is the case. We have one more day to wait whether or not we continue this choppy price action. That, that's yet to be seen. But I think the the entire world seems to be watching this pretty closely. Now, if you paid attention last night, um, Asia Markets came out with their producer price information and it soared by 9%. Um, tomorrow they're expecting our CPI to increase 4.7% according to economists, 4.7% year over year. That's a fairly significant increase. However, we don't know if that number is going to come in hotter than that or if it's going to come in less than that. And that could really change things tomorrow morning. But for now, we look for a market that's really watching the and waiting on this data and we're likely to see the market continue to be relatively choppy um, throughout today. So let's keep a close eye on that. Now, technically speaking, we continue to be in a nice upside trend here on the Dow, um, holding up very, very well. We continue to hold onto price supports. Notice we kind of test those from time to time bouncing around in here but we are still challenged by overhead price resistance in the chart and we just can't seem to get out of this range bound choppy zone um, at the moment perhaps tomorrow that log jam will break the question is which way so one of the things you want to be thinking about today as we kind of wind down toward the close how much risk do you have in the market and how uh, what do you think that the market will do tomorrow it's hard to know and um, it could be pretty substantial in the move. We've wound this up pretty tightly here and um, we could have an explosive move up, an explosive move down, depending on how the market reacts to that CPI number. So, you know, plan your risk carefully and decide how you want to approach um, that t morning tomorrow. And it seems like around the world, we're seeing a little bit of wait and see. Um, Asia markets down overnight, European markets are, are um, red across the board, and though some of those are modest uh, declines, it's just a big wait and see um, where the U.S. CPI is going to come in. Let's take a look at um, the SPY. SPY, also very range bound. We, we did sneak a little bit higher up here. We breached up here just by a few ticks breached up there and then we slid back um, through the day ended up just chopping and hovering right in that breakout range we continue to hold in this upside trend and we continue to cling to some price support levels in the chart and here again we're just in this range bound area now notice how tightly we're wound up here um, prices are bouncing within a very small range and continue to just wind up tighter and tighter and tighter. So think of it like you, that old cuckoo clock that you saw your grandpa wind up um, years and years ago. How tight is that spring wound? Um, and we could have that opportunity that that spring could release all that energy to the upside or it could easily release all that energy to the downside. So just prepare carefully for that and watch it closely and i kind of suspect today may be another day of just choppy waiting uh, market so um, watch that close now let's take a look at the nasdaq now the nasdaq shot up a little bit yesterday and ended up pulling back there at one point in time it looked pretty ugly um, but rebounded up at the end of the day and we're trying to show some bullishness this morning and we've got some select big techs really helping in that rally. But let's keep in mind that we have a, a broken trend here in the NASDAQ and we still have significant price resistance in this chart that needs to be dealt with 
as we move up. Now, notice that we haven't had quite the winding effect that we're seeing in the Diamonds and Spy here. We've been pressing and pressing and pressing um, in those that tech sector to keep the indexes up. Now the question is going to be, can we um, get a good enough number on that CPI tomorrow to reduce some of these inflation fears and have that push up into these resistance levels or do we really kind of break? And notice that having broken the trend, this pattern that's formed here in the chart, not exactly what you would call a bullish pattern. Um, and if that were to break lower, that could be a real problem for the market. So watch that close. Now, one thing we do want to, uh, you know, make mention of is we're still holding above that 50 day moving average. So I don't want anybody to think that I'm just pointing out um, everything is bearish because that is not the case. We could easily resolve this to the upside. But I think we're going to have to be really careful and cautious and not be complacent for that move tomorrow morning because we just don't know which way it might go. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM surged hard yesterday. It's interesting that we're seeing a big move the last couple of days into small techs or small caps and and largely very speculative companies are surging. Now that may be part of the meme um, stock atmosphere out there. We're chasing a lot of things. It could be an actual rotation into um, the small tech or the not small tech, but the um, small cap sector. So keep a close eye on that. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but what we do see for the, for the first time in a long time, we broke through that resistance level and we're up here approaching, trying to see if we can break through all time highs in IWM. So kind of an interesting circumstance, how this has been a very weak choppy index and all of a sudden we're surging up here. Not exactly sure what that means, but let's watch that closely as we approach these price resistance levels in the chart. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX is giving us a little bit of calmness here in the sense that, you know, notice that we pushed down and we hit a new low in the VIX yesterday, but by the end of the day, that kind of came back up um, in this move. So we're, we're kind of hedging our bets here. Now one has to wonder with this number, depending on how it comes out, um, either either the fear dropping out of this market is right, or it could also be an indication if if all of a sudden that CPI number comes in hot and the market uh, starts to sink, this may be an indication of complacency where the market just believes we'll never go down because the Fed's always going to support us and those kind of things, um, that inflation could certainly cause some trouble. So watch that closely. I think we're right here on this, we're sitting here on this um, edge of support. We're trying to decide and we will maybe find out tomorrow if um, the lack of fear is justified or if it was complacency. So watch that closely. Now I don't think this becomes a major problem unless we break through up in here and hold. So we could rally tomorrow in that, in that uh, number, but as long as we don't get through this big resistance level up here, I don't think there's gonna be a problem. And if we happen to sink down below here, well, hey, Happy days are here again. The markets will probably hit new record highs. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 is giving me a little bit of concern because yesterday as we pushed, we had just enough push that we're back up here in this bearish reversal zone. And we've seen this many times. Um, we've talked about this many times. When we reach up here, we can linger up here for a while. And we may linger up here today as we wait for that CPI number. But just keep in mind, we're kind of pushed up here uh, pretty hard. And it may be difficult um, to surge a whole lot more to the upside. I'm not sure. With those springs being wound so tight, anything is possible. But watch that closely. And that also gives me that little bit of concern that if that number does come in a little bit hotter than expected, we could see a pretty significant reaction to the downside. So watch that closely. And then if we take a look at T2101, um, I gotta tell you, um, market breadth continues to be 
a concern. Um, as we press new highs, we're just not getting the participation in market breadth. We're just languishing here where there's no momentum. There's, it's hard to find, um, find that, um, that really good, strong push someplace um, in the market. Now that log jam may break tomorrow, but right now notice that yesterday, as we tried to push a little bit higher, our market breadth declined. So we're just not showing the energy that we would expect as we're pushing through or trying to push through to new highs. So just keep that in mind. I'm not sure what that means, but I think what it's saying is tomorrow could be a big day, one way or the other and we just don't know which way that log jam might break. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for tomorrow or for today. Um, today on the ad economic calendar, we've got a few things that we want to keep an eye on, but probably nothing of any major consequence. We do have um, um, the petroleum status number today. Um, now oil had a good surge yesterday, um, lots of energy, um, <laughs> kind of a pun, lots of energy in that energy sector as we continue to buy that up. Now, a lot of that is a factor of inflation. I think everyone is believing that um, these energy prices are continue going to continue to rise as a product of that rising inflation in the market. We're going to want to watch this pretty carefully as the U.S. continues to open up its economy um, after COVID lockdowns. If we continue to see declines in supplies, that could continue to heat up that, um, that sector. We could see those oil stocks surge. However, if we happen to get some kind of surprise build in those supplies, that could have a negative effect. So watch that closely today at 10.30. And then plan your risk very, very carefully Carefully. Think about how much risk you have on as we head into this CPI and jobless claims tomorrow. Um, your guess is as good as mine. Um, I have no idea which way it's going to go. And, and I think we're seeing that across around the world. The world doesn't know which way that's going to go. And that's why everyone is just kind of hedging their bets and chopping sideways here in the market. So watch those closely. Think about that risk carefully as you head into Thursday morning. Let's take a look at um, the economic, or earnings calendar. Now, the earnings calendar is going to be a light day today, but we do have some notables. There was only 14 companies listed on the calendar today, and several of those are, are unconfirmed. And so let's take a look at some of these stocks that we'll be reporting today. Um, we've got um, Love on the list. Love Sack. Kind of some... Um, a beanbag company. Now, I know they make more than beanbags, but um, they have become one of the fastest growing furniture companies in the United States. And they've been um, sitting in this little tight range right here, um, as you can see in the chart. And that little tight range in this upside move is a nice little consolidation of support. That possibility, if that number comes in good, that could continue to extend that to the upside. We also have to consider if that number um, happens to disappoint. Oops, I'm sorry. I had that on a two day chart. If that number um, disappoints, then um, we could fail from that support level pretty quickly. So watch that closely. It looks like we had a little gap down and it's trying to push back up, but keep a close eye on that this morning. We have Restoration Hardware. Restoration Hardware has been on an amazing run, as you can see, to the upside. And just lately, we've kind of gone into this little protracted pullback. So this number today could be important. Notice we got a little double bottom right in here. We're tested by this price resistance. So if we could get a good number, we could certainly pop through and resume that trend to the upside. But also keep in mind, if that were to disappoint, we could drop through those lows and continue that downtrend. Um, let's see, UNFI. Um, I put this on the list. I'm not exactly sure this is going to be a, a substantial market mover today, but you might want to keep an eye on this. Um, running into some price resistance. Looks like we've disappointed here just a little bit. Possible failure here um, this morning. So keep a close eye on that. We've got VRA on the list today. Um, watch that. We have CPB. Campbell Soup will be reporting. Holy moly. Campbell Soup uh, fell out of bed today. Um, apparently they missed badly. So watch that closely. That that's not good. 
um, um, been moving in a downtrend and looks like this is going to gap substantially lower. So CPB falling hard and one that I would recommend everyone just stay the heck away from uh, GME. GME will be reporting today. Um, a $300 stock that probably has an evaluation of actual valuation of maybe around 25 bucks a share. So um, watch that closely as these meme stocks continue to just uh, amaze me. Um, so be really careful. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And remember everyone that what really matters is when you push that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It's it's the interaction with the video that makes the biggest difference in getting um, YouTube to show the videos to more folks. So um, the more you do that, um, um, it helps the channel to grow. We went over 21,000 um, um, yesterday. So thank you very much, everyone. Very, very cool. Um, the credit goes to you guys. Um, obviously, I put a lot of time and effort into this, but you showing that appreciation by clicking those thumbs up and and leaving those responses makes a huge difference. Thank you, everyone. And also thank you to everyone who is utilizing that link below the uh, title of the video and supporting the channel through Buy Me A Coffee. Um, I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, you guys are awesome. How about we take a look at some stocks that are setting up and please keep in mind, guys, that these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. They are merely a, um, a look at stocks that you might want to put on a watch list. So make sure you understand the risk of each trade and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at cannabis. Oh my goodness, cannabis has been really setting up some pretty good patterns. Notice here in Crone, we have um, broken this downtrend here. We've rallied up above some price resistance in the chart, and we're really setting up in a test to see if we can start breaking on higher here in, in Crone, and it's looking pretty good overall. If we look at this on a moving average notice chart, notice we have all of our major moving averages setting up here in a moving average squeeze. So if this can hold up in this area, watch for that upside opportunity that could occur here at any time. Um, I know a lot of members of Right Way Options are already in this. Also take a look at like TL RY. TLRY is another one doing the exact same thing. Now I happen to hold this one. Doesn't mean this is the right one, but um, happen to hold this and that continues to stay in this really nice little um, breaking pattern, breaking above the 50, holding in here. So watch for that opportunity of uh, that next entry into that trade to see if that can move on higher. We might want to take a look at some of the oil sector stocks, um, energy, um, XLE doing very, very good, surged yesterday. Notice we broke through this price resistance. We're holding support up here. We have this nice upside trend. Now don't be too surprised if this needs to rest a little bit more but oil sector could be um, a place that you want to be invested in and we'll want to watch that petroleum status number today that could have an effect on this but watch that closely we're looking good overall in that oil sector and you can take a look at stocks like um, mro mro looking very good ar ar pushing up this was a, um, um, a member's uh, stock that brought me to this stock. Notice that beautiful little pattern pushing on through. We saw a big move in ExxonMobil. I happen to hold ExxonMobil and ExxonMobil's looking good. Nice pop yesterday, breaking that downtrend. We may be coming up here to challenge some resistance highs in that chart, depending on how that number comes out today on oil status, but watch that closely. You might also want to take a look at some of these electric car makers and um, 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 alternative energies. Take a look at plug, plug power. 
plug looking good. Notice this nice little break from this tight little consolidation in here. Now this is going to report on the 10th, so I'm gonna suggest that you don't jump on this, but let's watch this closely after that earnings report. See if this um, can hold up and do, um, well, hold up well after its earnings report and see if there might be an opportunity. We're certainly, um, moved up nicely in here. Notice that we're above our 50 and 200 day moving average and holding some support levels. So if this holds up after that earnings report, I would definitely want to have this on a list and be watching for um, that next opportunity in the trade. You might also want to be keeping an eye on um, NKLA. NKLA has been moving up in a nice upside trend. Now, I owned this trade and sold it, took the profits, and I chose not to get back in just because we're kind of separated from our trend. But I'll be watching this. If this kind of backs and fills and eventually gets back over here toward trend, I'll look for that next opportunity in NKLA. Um, take another bite of that apple, it's looking good. Might also want to take a look at NIO. Now NIO pulled back a little bit yesterday, popped up into this little area right in here, held it as support, we broke through, and now we're resting just a little bit. And I think there may be just that chance that we kind of drift out sideways here for a little bit, building a little bit of energy to continue to push on up. But I keep a close eye on that. It's looking quite well overall. Uh, Peloton, I think, is one to keep an eye on. This is kind of coming up out of that bottom as well. Peloton breaking through some resistance, pushing on up, holding through in here. We've got a bit of that inverted head and shoulders pattern that is shown in here. Now, certainly we have resistance levels above that have to be considered um, in a trade, but here again, we have those moving averages right in here trying to squeeze to the upside. We'll see if it can pop on through that 200 day. Can't say that it will, but definitely one you might want to put on that list. Keep a close eye on um, that chart. Um, there are a lot of other charts to talk about that look really, really good but I don't have the time to cover them all. So just keep a close eye, watch this closely. You know, um, some of these old defensive companies um, have been surging through. Notice if I put my drawings on here, Coke broke through a major resistance level in the chart. And although it's pulling back here the last couple of days, I don't think there's anything wrong with this chart. So look for that next opportunity into the trade. Another might be TAP. TAP has been really, really strong. Um, beer, wine, distillates, things like that looking very good. Keep an eye on this. Tap holding up very well. So quite a few charts out there to choose from um, looking very, very good overall. Now, uh, once again, last last time of, as a reminder, be really, really careful in a dull market of over trading. When we're kind of in this choppy range bound, we're winding up for a big potential move. Be really careful about over trading. You can really put yourself in a situation where you buy up too much stuff, waiting for this big news report, trying to stay energized and, and stay with the market trend. And then suddenly, um, there's a shift and we can't I can't tell you which way that shift might be whether it be up or down So be really careful with over trading put put stocks in your watch list be prepared for that next trade But maybe not just load up your account ahead of this big number uh, Thursday morning So with that everyone have a great day. I wish you great success and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning Take care now